everyone, my name is Danica McPhee and I'm a former member of Canada's National Women's Sledge Hockey Team. For those of you who don't know what sledge hockey is, it's essentially the same as stand-up hockey, um, or what you might just call regular hockey, except for the fact that we play it sitting down. And we play it sitting down because it's been adapted for people with disabilities like myself, who, for whatever reason, and there are a million reasons, can't play standing up. You can adapt almost any sport for people with disabilities, and uh, it's really fun. And that way, people with disabilities can play alongside able-bodied people, and so many opportunities open up for so many great things, and sledge hockey has opened up so many opportunities for so many great things for me. And uh, so I'm really excited to talk to you guys today about optimism, which is one of the great things that sledge hockey has given me. Optimism is the ability to see the glass as being half full, as um, the rain clouds having a silver lining to be able to look on the bright side of things. And basically it's, it's the ability to believe that Things are going to work out uh, even when you have no control over those things and it's a crucial part of any sport. I don't think that life often gives you very many opportunities to experience the extreme highs and the extreme lows that you experience in a competitive sporting event within the span of an hour and so Dealing with those sort of extreme highs and extreme lows and so many things being out of your control, it's absolutely crucial to be an optimist. Um, I know that I've been in so many games where, you know, there's 10 seconds left and your coach pulls out this wildly specific and complicated play and you have to pull it together in 10 seconds or you lose the game. And there's always a 50-50% chance you're going to lose the game. Uh, so the odds are stacked highly against you. And uh, I can also tell you that not once have I ever seen someone complain about that. You know, the coach pulls out that play and everyone goes, Yeah, we can do it. No problem. And I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen more often than it doesn't happen. And... Uh, Optimism is the first step toward getting there because if you don't believe that it's going to happen, you're not going to try your hardest and it's contagious and then other people around you don't try their hardest um, and there's just no good that comes from not believing that things are going to work out and I've really learned that from hockey, um, not through anything else and it's been from hearing those wild expectations and seeing everyone around me just nod their heads and then try their best because you don't have time to doubt yourself or other people when you have 10 seconds left and that high of expectations placed on you. So you do your best, you trust your preparation, you trust your team, and it sounds really simple but it's actually quite difficult. Um, there are a lot of things that you can control in life and in my experience other people will never be one of those things and in team sports you're surrounded by other people that you can't control so so you have to trust your teammates you have to trust that they have your best interests at heart and you have to trust that they're gonna pull through for you um, but at the same time you have to be optimistic that the other team is not going to pull through you don't know how hard they've trained. You you only focus on yourself. You do your best. You trust your own preparation, like I said, and and that's all you can do. Um, it just isn't a team sport without a healthy amount of optimism, and you can't be a team player without that optimism either. I mean, you see what happens when you try and whiz through the ice without passing to everyone because you don't trust that it's going to work out you'll be on the bench. Anyway, if I can give you any piece of advice about life is that nobody will ever stop expecting you to be a team player. I'm 28 years old and I'm doing my university degree online with strangers who I've never met and I never plan to meet and I still have to do group work 
all the time. And in the workplace, you are having to do group work all the time. It's the name of the game. Believe it or not, hockey has helped me to better handle those sort of situations. And, uh, and it's because of optimism. I mean, if it leaves you, if it takes a 10 second time frame to force you to believe in yourself because you really have no time to question it, then I think that's a really cool way to force you to believe in yourself. And it's going to be really useful in the future. And it's helped me a lot. So be optimistic. And it is contagious. So play team sports. Be optimistic. You're going to improve everyone's day. You're going to improve everyone's time. And then when you lose, which somebody always loses, you just be optimistic you're going to win next time. I mean, optimism paired with a healthy amount of preparation is ideal. But optimism is important. The most important. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to me today. I, uh, I hope that you learned a little bit about the importance of optimism, but mostly I hope that you just have an awesome day and that you keep doing your best and the school year is almost over and spring is almost here. I am optimistic that it's going to start being warm out very soon. Um, thank you. Have a great day, guys.